highly anticipated seems like an, a wild understatement, right? And Melbourne in particular expected to her to be her, her biggest show yet. Yes, um, I was surprised to see that number $1.2 billion, yeah. which is coming from the mayor of Melbourne. Uh, it includes everything indirect benefits as well uh, from people flying in from overseas, hotels, flight tickets, uh, spending while they are in Melbourne. So nobody's going to just come in, fly in for those few hours and go back. So people are kind of making a little holiday around it. Uh, so the economic benefit that includes everything uh, just in Melbourne is, is 1.2 billion. We don't have a figure for Australia wide, mm. uh, but it, it's definitely going to be big and economists and RBA will, will be keeping an eye out as well. Yeah, yeah. to your point, even the RBA Governor Michelle Bullock noted <laughs> uh, the impact of this concert, even in an anecdotal sense, but it speaks to something broader, doesn't it? Um, she talks about her children not spending on other things, so they can spend on this. So what are the implications there? Yes, that is, uh, I, I, I guess that is what we are going to see uh, from chatting with economists. It, it looks like this is going to be a sugar rush uh, where uh, people will spend around this time, whether it's the those bead bracelets or sequin dresses. Um, but then later in the year, we are going to see the uh, cutbacks uh, because look, the economic condition is is, is getting tighter uh, with interest rates at a uh, 12 year high expected to remain there. And uh, other issues like property prices, rents, electricity. Uh, so people are feeling, feeling the pinch and while they are going to spend here, there will be cutbacks later.